three, two, one. What is up, guys? We are here back at the Nucleus Hub, and I'm excited because I got two special guests with me. And more importantly, they're going to bring some heat for the Nucleus Nirvana Summer Sizzle experience event that we're going to be having July 20th. So I'm excited to sit down, um, be able to create contact with them, chat, and learn more. And as well, you guys are going to be able to see what they're going to provide for you because the value is going to be tremendous. So I got JD and Chad in the house. Um, they're doing some amazing things, both health and fitness professionals, um, really impacting the health and fitness industry when it comes to movement, uh, when it comes to the, the biomechanics of it, to everything recovery, um, to the longevity of, of, of being that uh, a huge important factor in your life and why you should aim for that. But I'm gonna let these two properly introduce themselves uh, so you can learn more. Thank you, thank you. Excited What's up everyone? Uh, so my name is JD. Uh, I'm not your typical fitness trainer, I like to say. I focus on um, fitness, longevity, concierge. I work with you know, wealthy families, wealthy individuals, and I help them from A to Z. So you know, if they're looking to, um, you know, anything from fitness to just getting out of, out of pain or just recovering, uh, you, leveraging the smartest doctors in the world to help them reverse their age, that's what I focus on. And I've been doing this since 2016, 2015. Um, I was lucky to have some amazing mentors uh, in my life that guided me in the right direction. And I've been dedicating my, my life to um, just doing just that. And recently, uh, I partnered up with, with Chad, CRB, who is in the sports world. Yeah, so hi, I'm uh, CRB, um, also Chad. Uh, I just call myself by CRB because it's my initials, but it's also my company name. Um, I'm considered a movement specialist in the field. Uh, I went to University of Miami, played football there. Um, connect with a lot of athletes, uh, train athletes, uh, train sedentary people. Uh, really what I focus on is how to get people to move without pain uh, by leveraging my approach and how different it is in the fields of fitness and how it works well with uh, other things and other modalities that we're going to introduce today with Juan. Love it. Love it. All, all amazing, valuable, powerful things that we all need um, in our life, um, whether you're uh, somebody who just wants to move and feel better and you just want to be able to do more activities and live longer and as well if you're an athlete trying to perform at a high level so it doesn't matter both these guys are going to help you um jd we'll start with you i want i want to dive in a little bit about your background how you started um and then we'll move over to chat and then maybe we kind of see the cross bridge of how you guys kind of linked up together and and are, are you know really putting some cool things out there in the world yeah yeah i mean i started honestly at the age of 12 um was was a kid that was overweight got was bullied a lot and just made a conscious decision to it was actually i was at publix for people that don't know what publix is here in florida we have publix um but i was buying a public sub and i saw a magazine which was fitness and uh muscle and fitness magazine and i was like wow something inside of me was just like i want it i want to be just like that so uh, the next day i woke up at 5 a.m and just started running. And it started just like half a mile, then eventually a mile, then two miles, then three miles. And every day I, I started just running. And that created the discipline for me to really fall in love with, with uh, fitness and, and, and taking care of my body. I was eating better, and then I started getting into sports. And that, you know, fast forward 10 years, um, I was in, at FAU getting my certification uh, for uh, personal training. I was, you know, um, I stopped playing football at that time, and I had, um, I just ha I just had my son uh, at, at 20, so he was at that time he was turning three, and um, I always knew I wanted to do something in fitness and just that being being there and and the way I was led in the right direction. I was I'm, I'm a man of faith, so I just believe God is always guy le leading me in the right direction. Um, I was connected to one of the w the world's best personal trainer, who's Billy Beck. He trained The Rock for seven years. He al he's also the trainer to uh, Tony Robbins, so I've learned a lot from him. And being under his wing, I learned a lot. And the first thing he told me when we had a meeting with, uh, he used to call us like the Navy SEALs of, of fitness. Mm. And the first day he talks about how it's actually uh, buying a gym or investing in a gym is the worst, the worst thing you can do. Is like if you're looking to be in this career for long term, you better figure something else out. And I was like, wow. Uh, so that that started to create uh, different, I started asking myself different questions. Like how can I actually, work with people that value me, that value their health, that value fitness, that want to actually 
you know, get younger and, and, and reap all the, the benefits of what fitness has to offer. Because what I learned from, from Billy was, and I believe this to be true, is fitness is, is the gateway to self-mastery or the, it's, it's a stepping stone to self-mastery. And self-mastery is, um, is the pathway or the gateway to an extraordinary life. So if you can understand that, um, you can literally surpass so many people in life by just focusing on, on fitness and then eventually working on, on your mental on, on, on your mentality, like your mindset, um, your emotional intelligence. Um, I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. And a lot of the things that I teach my clients is, is that is mental conditioning is using, is creating a vision for yourself. Like how does, what would your life look like at a hundred if you were actually focused on your health, focus on, on, on your longevity? Um, it's creating that longevity mindset because most people don't believe they're gonna, you know, get to a hundred years old. They think they're gonna be in a wheelchair, but there's evidence there's a lot of people in their in, in their 70s, 80s, and 90s that are doing extraordinary things. Um, so being mentored by Billy really taught me a lot of you know a lot of the emotional fitness, as he calls it, or, or mindset work. And for me, that's like the most important thing when it comes to create sustainability or actually uh, doing fit do, training and and, and um, doing all the fitness things long term. Um, and then from there, I, 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 once Billy started traveling the world and he stopped, you know, really, he closed down his gym in 2017, 2018. Um, I started working, and back in 2016, I started working with some wealthy, wealthy individuals, families, and I created a system for this particular family. And I was able to charge, I was making pretty much as much as a doctor or a neurosurgeon um, as a, as a fitness coach, because I was able to create a, a, a system for them. So everything from not just from the fitness training, but uh, you know, nutrition supplementation, I, 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 w I hired a chef for them. Um, I created a longevity center in the home, state of the art gym, connected them to the smartest doctors in the world. So everything that they were doing was based on the genetics. And we had a protocol for everything. And every month and every quarter, we would review everything. Um, and it just it held them accountable to the highest levels. Because most people, they get all this information, but why don't they follow through? So mm -hmm. I, 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 do th I do it with them and I help them implement it so they can actually reap the rewards. Don't so that's pretty much what I do. I mean, there's obviously more to it, but that's, yeah. that's why I started in the finishing journey. And, and um, right now my mission is to really, is to show other people in the health and fitness space what's possible. That you actually can, can um, you know, if you were to, I'll leave you with this. If you can put fitness in a pill, right? It would outperform every medication by 1.5x. Right. So if you think about, you know, 1.5 X times 100, it's not much. But if you do that by a billion, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So fitness, I believe, is the key. And I took my fitness for granted and I never want to take it for granted ever again, mm -hmm. because if I, I believe fitness is a blessing. Fitness is is, is, the, is one of the secrets to life. And I think we a lot of us take for granted, overestimate it. So Very true. And yeah. it's uh, I think that, um, you know, even even being like you said, one of the secrets of life, I think it's also one of the big contributor factors for um, you know, p connection, yeah. you know, just making connections, the amount of connections that I've made just because of the fitness component or being in the fitness industry, whether when I was a trainer or just me participating as somebody at a fitness event, mm -hmm. the types of people and the, 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 the people that are in it, um, you can tell the quality and the, 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 the way of thinking that they have compared to people that don't. And I'm not saying that people that don't are bad or don't or dumb or anything that's not what i'm saying but you just see there's there's this edge to people that are in fitness or believe in fitness um and then the type of valuable networks you can create from it yeah 100 yeah. percent. that's, that's, that's super powerful yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh to add on to that even to say is when it comes down to fitness ultimately what is it we're just taking care of our bodies i mean we're taking care of how our body moves how our body breathes how our body uh how we feed the body so I mean, it's as important as the sense of living. So when you're able to and create a lifestyle that helps you create a nice um, longevity approach towards living, you start noticing life can be that much more exciting. So, amen to that. No, and uh, and and I think it just it just goes to show us as well. I think that throughout the years obviously fitness has transformed and has changed drastically um you know and i and i'm sure you guys being in it for so long and and seeing those changes from what people saw fitness for what it was and you know at the time what the knowledge of fitness was you know and people just doing the best they can but to to see where it's gone now i think it's 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 really interesting to 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 see the tools that we have the resources 
um, the the awareness around it, I think it's much higher. Um, I think the level of people wanting to be involved in it uh, for themselves is much higher. And even the career aspect, I think that you, we can all agree, if you look at the stats, how alone between, I think it was 2019 and now, um, they've had such a surge of people wanting to get into fitness, health and fitness related careers. Right. Um, and it, that number keeps increasing. They've been breaking record numbers on people getting certs, people going to school, studying certain degrees. I was reading on, on it. And it was really interesting to see that because um, whether it's them doing them for themselves or to service other people, it's just really cool to see how the industry is continuously evolving mm -hmm. um, and people are seeing it more as like what you're saying. It's just part of your life. It's, right. it's, 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 a, it's an everyday thing. It's not what before was like, oh, well, you only do it because of X, Y, and Z or, right. you know, to look a certain way or to – you know, uh, perform or for a sport or for stage or no, it's life. Um, and I think that that's a huge, huge shift that I've seen in the last few years happening where people are just more, more aware of it. Right. There was a study I was reading that I mean, just resistance training above itself can mm -hmm. extend your life by 10 to 14 years. Yeah. So I think, I think most part, um, and I, I'm obviously don't, every guy, every, everyone don't take what I'm about to say yeah. is, is to heart or it's bad. But I believe like bodybuilding, CrossFit, a lot of these so-called train like training modalities or methods um, almost like hurt the fitness space because yeah. people are like, oh, in order for me to be fit, I have to do bodybuilding or powerlifting or CrossFit. Not necessarily true. I see that as a sport. So what I love about what Chad does, and Chad's gonna explain so what, what, what he does, uh, is he focuses on the fundamentals, and so do I. Um, but you, you, in order for you to create sustainability, you have to create the mindset. It's the vision, right? It's a mental conditioning is having a vision, right? Having positive reinforcement or auto suggestion and movement. When you combine those three things, it is literally, uh, it, you become a superhuman because yeah. you can condition yourself to be that thing, right? It's, it helps you shift your identity, right? And if you believe you can change your identity then you know you can do that every single morning when you wake up first thing in the morning you you, you have a north star every company biggest company in the world apple have a north star like, hey this is where we're going this is my my health and fitness my longevity star and this is where i'm going to be in 100 years from now and i'm going to do everything it takes to get there and now that you can believe that this is what my life can be in like in 100 years mm -hmm. what are you going to do in the next 100 days yeah Right, and then you start building those. You start doing those little, those, those, uh, taking those little actions that are gonna help you become that individual, right? And that creates excitement, mm -hmm. right? People, people, that creates a. Not you don't need motivation once you get to that point. You're yeah. just you're inspired. You're, the you're constant you're, urge that just it's exactly. in your blood. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So Chad, let's let's dive a little bit on on your background. You know, kind of like um, how'd you get started into the fitness scene? And I know you, I know you were a ball player, a football player yourself. Mm -hmm. So. Um, did that have influence being an athlete and wanting to continue a path towards fitness? Yeah, so most definitely. Um, I'll start when I was a little kid. I mean, I've been playing prof um, every sport since I was like four years old and until till now, basically. Um, so training was always like a part of my life. Um, you know, I'm the only child, so I really spent a lot of time on myself, trying to better myself as an athlete when I was uh, when I had the time. And um, yeah, so I played multiple sports growing up. Um, I got into football. Football's always been a huge passion of mine. Um, and when I went to the University of Miami, you know, one of the things that I was dealing with was injuries. One of the biggest things that bothered me the most and put me into like the, into that like downward spiral were injuries and mentally how that can destroy uh, many athletes. I mean, you see it in today's sports, you see it in uh, pro athletes, people getting hurt and never coming back the same. Like look at D Rose. That was oh that yeah. was one of the ones that was just like wow. Big example. That guy is one of the most explosive players we've ever seen play in the sport. Once he uh, once he got hurt, he never came back the same. And that was like such a disheartening thing, and especially to his career, and what um, he was able to do for himself. So uh, for me, um, I went through my own experience with uh, injuries as well. Uh, so I played football uh, at a very University of Miami was there, uh, and I ended up hurting my ankle there. I had a bunch of different injuries, ankle, both ankles, uh, tore AC joint, um, uh, had uh, tore my hamstring. So I've gone through a lot of different injuries, body compensating all different ways, and that's been like one of my biggest like things, that, and that's why I went to school for this. I went and became an exercise physiologist through uh, University of Miami, so I got my BS there. and. Through that, um, you know, I took a whole pre-med course, had to 
dissect cadavers, know exactly where every muscle is. So like usually when I look at the body, I, I'm seeing through the skin at this point. It's, <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy. So um, I s always thought there was something more to what this old uh, tradition way of thinking when it comes to training. There's some, there has to be something more. There has to be something better. Why do we keep going back to the same protocols and all we've been seeing is injuries going up dramatically in just the like last 10 years? It's crazy when I tell people this stat, people don't even believe it. It's mm -hmm. like, how is this possible? Is how many, how many, uh, what's the percentage of ACL injuries in the last 10 years? And people are like, I don't know, 20, 40, 50%. No, try like 200%. It's, it's, it's wild. It's, tr it, it's crazy. It just it doesn't make sense. And a lot of it is from non contact injuries. That's, that's it's the crazy. worst thing. And it's like, as an athlete, you're going out there and you're going out there to, to perform at your highest level and you're out there just running and next thing you know you fall to the ground and you're hurt that's how is that yeah. how's that good so there has to be something better so mm -hmm. i was on this um it, 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 it didn't hit me until i got my degree after i got my degree i became a trainer i became a trainer over at usi i was a sports industry over in uh, uh western western florida and um, I worked with a lot of athletes there, and I worked with a lot of people. I was continuing my education. I got my CSCS, got my sort of um, strength and conditioning specialist, uh, worked with a lot of different teams, and I kept doing everything the same as everyone else, right? And kept doing the same thing, and still run into like little hiccups and little backsteps. And then eventually I was like, all right, I, I, I still miss playing the sport, and I, I can actually go back to school. So I actually went back to school to go play at a D2 school and got a full ride scholarship to go play at Virginia. So I was like, oh, might as well, let's go and do it. I'm, I'm, I'm training myself, I've been training myself for a while. I'm running a faster 40, I'm feeling really good. Let me go out there and do it. So I go out there and within the first two months of training out there, I tore my labor in my hip. Wow. And when I tore my labor in my hip, I'm talking about, I went down a downward spiral. I didn't want to, I didn't want to even be at the sport anymore. I was just going through it. I had to get an MRI. I had to leave the state to come back to Florida just to get an MRI. That's I was crazy. in a wheelchair and everything. I got no. I didn't need surgery. They said I have strength and I have flexibility. You're good. Okay, cool. So I came back, and I just tried to fight my way back onto playing. Took me like I missed the first five uh, five uh, games of the season. Finally played the last five, and that was it. And then, and I just left. And I just it was for the experience, but it led me to ask the same question again there has to be something better out there. So I went in and I started realizing like, man, like my hip is, is so messed up at this point. Like running doesn't feel balanced. I feel out of balance. I just feel like not myself. And this is when I came across this thing called functional patterns. Um, functional patterns helped me a lot and it really took a different approach completely. Um, whereas physical therapy focused on one little thing and focused on one area functional patterns focuses on the entire body as a system as a whole and how do we leverage that system to create a new alignment in the entire in, in the entire body and this is talking about fixing scoliosis fixing injuries um, learning how to create space within the body and by doing this by you utilizing um, your voluntary system so how you breathe how you create tension and using that together because Ultimately, we all know muscle pulls on bone. So if muscle pulls on bone, that means what dictates our structure, our muscle tension. So balancing the muscle tension, creating tensegrity around the body, and using that, utilizing breath, which creates a biorhythm within the body. Now we utilize all these things together. What does that do for the body? Well, now the body is going against gravity. Gravity's not pulling us down anymore. We're learning how to use it to regenerate our body, not degenerate our body. So now you're, you know, start noticing that your body can create space better and it can activate better. And by doing that, you can actually let the body heal naturally and faster than it ever has before. Um, so I got into that. And for me, personally, my experience with it, I had tremendous changes in just six weeks. Six weeks, body got elongated, uh, felt really light. Um, and on top of it, I put on muscle while I was doing it. I was like, amazed. I was like, wow, did I just gain like five or 10 <laughs> pounds in muscle? But I look better than I've ever looked. I don't feel like I have a pudge belly or anything. It's just, I feel really good. And after that, I was sold. And I was like, listen, I'm going to dive in deep into this. 
and then this was about six years ago um, and I dove in deep I got my certification in it um, and I started really focusing on functional movement now it's not to say that like most of everything else doesn't like belong I, I I'm the firm believer that there is a reason for everything in the uh, in the areas and there's a little good in all of it and there could be some bad in it um, I just look at this approach as fundamentally how the body works because if we look at it it's all about understanding the functional line understanding how the body works as a whole once you're a baby and growing up into it how it connects to the nervous system and that's really what they focus on is how do we correct the pattern that's dysfunctional in your body and how do we leverage it through the approach to get you out of that to start getting in teaching the body a body a new pattern a pattern that is ultimately good for the body that creates this natural decompression and when you're able to do that healing it just invites healing to the body and body wants to heal itself and that's the that's the best thing about it so i kind of look at it as a, like it's a building block yeah. like this is should be like more of the standard of understanding mm -hmm. how to like get the body to start taking steps to the right direction of course we add sports we add weightlifting we add all these other components that can all be added once your body is moving pain-free and that's what i'm all about moving the body pain-free so um that's when he's, he's not lying because i did uh did it for like two weeks with you and i, I haven't bench pressed in a long time i do like a lot of like use a lot of dumbbells or bands so i was just knocking out 225 like nothing yeah and i was like talking to a client and i was like yeah like if you focus on we, we focus on you know the fundamentals you will actually perform better on these exercises that you normally do which is mm -hmm. the bench and the squats so i felt super light and i was just like whoa i, was, I didn't press myself i was like just knocking it out <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're moving at ease at this yeah. point now. but I, it's so crazy because i you know for uh, just seeing you know the your whole philosophy it's it's one of those things that i've always i've always had interest in and i've always mm -hmm. believed in as well because it's so true like you know, at the end of the day, you know, you have people who are focused on the body in, as individual points or individual joints. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and at the end of the day, yes, we have, you know, we have the millions of cells in our body running around, but at the end of it, we're one single cell organism. Yeah, Must we're be, just an organism. We're just one walking organism. So yeah. if you treat the body individually, you're going to have issues arise, where if you treat it as a whole, you know, it's going to work in unison altogether, exactly. and you're going to avoid so many issues. And, and, you know, another thing I want to uh, touch upon, you know, because I, I love this whole topic is um, I think environment plays such a huge role in everything you do. And I used to always say, like, if you don't, your ch if you don't change your environment, your environment changes you. Mm -hmm. um, so from the point of, like, just how you how you're constantly sitting all day, how are you moving, um, just being aware of, like, the things around you, even to the point of, like, how long have you had your bed? Like, how's your bed? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, as much as, like, I always say, like, as much as, like, we can do as much good, but if we don't also change the things that we're constantly using, it's not going to allow the good to fully take over and do what it's supposed to do because right. we're constantly putting ourselves in that environment of what's causing maybe a huge contributor to certain issues, uh, which you see it often all the time, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, people not changing those environments. And then when they're like, oh, but I'm doing all this, I'm doing that. I'm, it's like, why am I still having issues? It's like, well, well, let's see, like, what haven't you changed? Like, what are you still doing that's the same? that um may be contributing factors and um you know there's so much that we could dive into but it's so yeah. it's so cool to see the, the the emphasis and the the wanting to like the wanting to drive this kind of information into people because you know i think that more people understand how the body works truly you know to the way that you guys are, are speaking about it and actually putting it in and, and applying it on people they'll start themselves getting the results faster uh, moving better pain-free um, and going back to the sports, like, I think one of the things that we can agree on with the increase of injuries is like, well, increase of injuries is also going to come to the fact that, number one, yes, the, you know, the, the, the fact that we have to go back to the foundations. And, and why is that? Because athletes are only getting bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah, so with more weight, you have to adjust with more, s more s power, more mm -hmm. speed will come more injury yes. if you don't build the fundamental components of because, you know, you talk about. You know, you're moving at X amount of speed and you plant your foot this way, you do the X, Y, and Z, you're going to go, mm -hmm. your knee's going to go out, out here and you're going to mm -hmm. mess yourself up yeah. or your hip or whatever it is. So yeah. as these players get bigger, strong, and faster, you know, and we're not correcting these things properly, you're going to see more injuries on the rise. I mean, num numbers don't lie. I mean, how many NFL guys were hurt, like, for example, like on 
the Dolphins. Uh, no, like, I think they, they had they like the 10 to 12 injured, guys. They were the most yeah. injured team in the league. Yeah, yeah, they had like 10 to 12 guys. The fact that, that they went to the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> <and even> like, <laughs> yeah, you want to so. hear something wild? Look at the Ravens last year before the season started. They had eight players already injured before the season started. Just wild. How is that happening? Like, yeah. I look at that and it's just like, it has to go towards what's happening in the industry, right? And to go back to what you were just saying, it's so interesting is that like, it, you always have to go back to look at what you're doing. And the biggest thing with this training is you're training very intentionally. Every little thing, every movement. And, I, and as me, I'll be the one that who's like correcting. Hey, listen, you're doing this wrong. When you're doing this, this is what's happening. So you're all constantly trying to change someone's behavior. But in order to do that, they have to create this body awareness, which is what the breathing and creating tension does. And you learn how to create awareness around your shoulder, your hips, your lower back with your breath it can mm. change how your sensations feel, how your body feels, and you start feeling more control. Like, and ultimately, I want, I want everybody to have the power back to fix their own body. And that's what I think I can do with what we have. Um, and I know that I can do it. It's, it's like understanding how your body moves and understanding what's happening and start training more intentionally and not habitually. And more importantly, as you're doing that, the focus behind it. Right, that's it. There's yeah. a, if you put those intentions together, you'll be so surprised at what you can do to your body and how your body can expand, how it can get stronger, and the results don't lie. There's, I yeah. have tons of results with people that when you look at their posture, uh, I go before and after, they're, th they're crazy. And the coolest thing about this type of training is there is no setback. You don't go and like you go and hit the gym, you go and hit heavy, and like the next day you're out for like the next like three or four days. Because yeah. because no. the way you truly heal is through movement, yeah. breath, and sound. Exactly. Right. So that's how we when, when we linked up, uh, it was it was actually like I think it was like a God God given opportunity, because my with my clients I always give them access to like the latest technology. So like you know a lot of the stuff like chiropractors or physical therapists are giving their clients like the PMF machines or like the katsus, like you know BFRs. I was doing that with my clients 2016, 2017, infrared saunas, all that stuff. And now, you know, I got introduced last year to a new technology that just uses frequency and, and vibration. So, I, you know, we, 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 we connected because he actually got hurt. So Chad's also a professional highlight player. And Ooh. I mean, he, highlight, I mean, it's an incredible sport. I'll let him explain a little bit more about it. But he was out for the season for at least five to six weeks. And yeah. it, I, 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 it, I, you want me to explain it? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll explain it because this is it was this is hilarious. Why. It was like right yeah. at the, it was like meant to happen. So um, the way that I got hurt. This um, was in October, right? October, late October. And it was or November. No, it was December. It was near the end. Of, oh, okay, November? yes, that's right. That's right. Near late November. November yeah. What year was it? Last year. Last, last year. year. Last year. Yeah. So um, if no one knows what the highlight is, uh, highlight is a professional. Uh, it's the, it's I play the fastest sport alive. It's the fastest sport alive. Uh, the, ba the ball travels at an average 150 miles an hour. Wow. And it's a ball sport. Think of it like racquetball on steroids. Uh, you can run, jump off walls, and you play with a basket that's called a cesta that is hooked. And because of uh, the shape of it, it allows you to use your entire body and your wrist to, s to swing this ball at those speeds. And you also have to catch it. So that's what makes the sport very uh, mm. difficult. Um, and when I talk about it, I played with many different sports growing up. This sport is so unorthodox, so different. There's not another sport that you're just throwing with a straight. I've never seen like so many athletes get hurt. Yeah, it's <laughs> the, the, the type of like force that goes to the body through every throw, and then running on hard court on top of it, and uh, and also running. That's intense. It, yeah, it's, it's it a puts lot. a toll on so, the body. So, yeah. so, so you I, got hurt. You got hurt in December. Right, so I ran up on the wall actually, and that's how I got hurt. I took a big step on the wall. And it was, it was during media day. <laughs> it was, it, they just wanted me to run up the wall and I wasn't warm or anything. And I just like, was like tired. And I was like, all right, let's just do it real quick. And I did it and I was like, kind of felt weird. That was really weird. Uh, okay, well, I'm not gonna think anything of it. As the day went on and we went into our games, it got worse to the point where I was having problems standing up. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And I feel like my hip was out of place. And I'm like, I know what I did. I need to start like getting back on my training. And this is me not sticking to my own training protocol that I should have been doing for the last two months. That, that's the athlete mode game. Yeah, kick you in. just <laughs> like, I just want to play games and that's it. I just want to play there's games and get I always out. say there's a, you got your, it's like, you know how you have like the, like the, you got the, uh, you got God and the devil. I always yeah. like, you got your athlete 
a mindset and then you got yep. your coach mindset yeah. and it's like <laughs> exactly like yo you should be doing more what yeah. are you doing like you know you don't feel good yeah but i i, I just i just need to play a quick game like yeah. that's it and it got to the point where i went through that and it was it was really rough on my back and i couldn't even stand up properly and i literally had a scratch and i, ha I had no idea he got hurt so i don't know where i i called i exactly. texted you within that, that time frame it was, it was literally the next day bro <laughs> the next day he texted so me. i was like hey dude I, you know i came across this awesome technology um you got to try this yeah. so then he started trying the technology yeah. and within a week yeah i was like I was he did five sessions the, i would so say by the fifth session yeah i was feeling 90 to 100 percent better and I'm talking about from not standing, I'm having issues trying to stand up every single day. Wow. And I was going through that for probably the first three days. And then the last, last like three to two days were like a huge game changer. It was like, it like the reverse effect started happening where everything started like progressing like really fast. Hmm. And I was also working, doing my training too as well. So working that together, I was like, yeah. whoa, I was like, this is working really fast. And I needed to get back out there by that Monday because I had a playoff game that day, and I needed to help my team uh, win that playoffs or make it to the playoffs actually. And they made it to the playoffs. And we made it to the playoffs, so I was thankful for the machine and being able to utilize my training and getting back to the basics and getting into it that I was able to heal in such a short period of time. Yeah. And I'm talking about like you were saying, I could have been out for a month hmm. easy. Just uh, imagine the days that you wake up. And you can't even stand up completely. Like that was what I was dealing with. So it was it was incredible. Yeah. Wow. So that led to an opportunity to work with the highlight team, and um, you know, I was just mo we were monitoring everything every week. Then you know, had probably like seventy percent of the athletes using the, the device. Mm -hmm. And pri the seasons prior to that, there was guys always hurt every week. They would have to scratch. Yeah. The guys that were using the device, only one guy scratched. Yeah. The rest of them, and he was only out for a week. Yeah. The rest of the guys didn't scratch right. maybe they had like aches and pains and stuff like that but they weren't doing any sort of physical therapy no, no sort of strength training it was just a device yeah and that's impressive yeah so right now what chad and i are doing is we, we see there's an opportunity especially specifically in collegiate sports and even professional sports that there's a lot of uh they have a system where you know they have their strength coach they have their doctors they have their nutritionist their uh, sports psychi uh, psycho psychiatrist or psychologist um mm -hmm. they focus on sports psychology and then they have um, just whatever, what are the other stuff they lean on, but they never really focus on how to recover. I mean, their recovery is like, oh, take an ice bath or go on the hot tub or mm -hmm. put ice on that mm -hmm. or what else, compression or temporary fixes. temporary fixes. So it's like, how can we actually work with your nervous system to help you heal faster? So this technology uses frequency, it's called mechanical acoustic vibration. So it goes, it communicates directly to the central nervous system so that your muscles work better, right? So if I want to activate fast twitch muscle fibers or slow twitch muscle fibers, I can do that with this device, right? So we combine that with some, some uh, approaches in physical therapy or exercises, you literally start recruiting those fibers in that, within that, within that, that moment and you're able to perform the, the movement better, mm. right? So child actually came up with the slogan is like, you know, we help you adapt to change faster. Mm. So if you could extend an athlete's career by a year or two or three, and that athlete's getting paid ten million dollars a year, that that that's putting at least ten million dollars back into the athlete's For pocket, sure. exactly. right? So we we know we have something special here. It's just you know we're just looking for people that are open-minded that could really work with this device because most people they they do approaches that you know been they've been using for a long time. So it's breaking yeah. breaking the how do you say it's breaking the traditional mold. Yeah. Same thing with the functional patterns, you know, getting people to break out of the traditional way of doing things doesn't mean, hey, you're going to completely stop or yeah. we're going to completely take this away from you. But just, hey, be open to seeing how this can help improve even what you're doing right now and how yeah. it can maybe even make that better. Yeah. Um, so what, what, what can people expect, um, you know, from you guys being um, at the Nucleus and Nirvana experience, uh, part of the recovery lounge, and then as well, talk a little bit about the workshop, but what can people, as far as the aspect of the recovery component, what can people expect when they attend? Uh, I mean, if people are in pain, um, definitely expect that we can minimize that pain pretty quickly. I mean, within the first session, people should start seeing results, uh, or even second session. Uh, but just learning about a new technology that's not really in, in the US, um, and then just learning how to actually properly move. I mean, Chad can explain more of that, but right. just for me, I mean, if there's a lot of health and fitness professionals attending, 
can just kind of open up their mind to what's possible mm -hmm. as a fitness coach because we i think the average person these days a personal trainer for like two or three years um and don't get paid much but you can't look at yourself as a personal trainer like you are literally the fountain of youth for that person yeah. and if you find the right person that values you that person will pay you as much as a doctor to take care of their health especially here in south florida mm -hmm. you just you need the right system and you need the right operating system up here Facts. i believe yeah. so. per personal training actually is a. Uh, I think it's one of the um, I was writing. It's like one of the top three industries that has the the highest uh, uh, drop rate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, in in professionals, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So it's uh you know the fact you know the, all this information is great because it number one you do have to find a way to separate yourselves apart, mm -hmm. get the right knowledge, get the right people around you, and actually create a, a system that that can work, um, that you can go beyond with the advice your 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 uh, your mentor gave you of like don't expect to just hey come in here and you're gonna open up a gym that's gonna be the the, the solution to the fitness to you creating a career in the fitness industry yeah. you got to look beyond that and yeah. uh, that's all, exactly what you guys are doing um chat with the workshop what, what can people expect from this workshop so you would expect to get a lot of knowledge about your own body so you'll actually learn of what is happening so you'll learn how to create body awareness within your body um another thing is that you'll learn the type of movements that your body naturally creates and i teach it through a cueing method um, and then also uh, you'll learn, you'll be able to walk out of there feeling light and feeling less pain than you did before or coming out with more knowledge and than you probably ever had just by just watching someone work out. So really it's going to be fun because you get to learn how to scan your own body basically. Figure out what's your own issues and how is it, how is it possible for you to kind of leverage yourself out of these is issues that you're dealing with. So that's a really cool experience that we'll be able to bring. Um, and I'm excited to come. It's going to be fun. Love it. And w what are you guys looking forward to the most in, uh, individually and together? Uh, I'm just I'm just looking to serve, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just share share some awesome stuff, technology and information, and um, just serve. I mean, I, th I think the... Um, I think we're not even touching the surface when it comes to yeah like fitness longevity. Oh, yeah. So I think um, there, there there's a huge. I'll leave you with this because I, I, f I really wanted to mention this, but if people are listening, the next eight years are drastic are super important for fitness mm -hmm. because we're gonna reach a point where people are gonna be able to reverse their age like that. Mm. Like every year they, they're, they're, they're gonna take a solution. Every year they're gonna be, be able to reverse their, their age by one year. Now if you can use that, leverage that, and help people stay healthy they're going to reap the rewards when it comes out because if, you, if you're 40 right now and you don't take care of yourself you're going to you're going to look like a, a six-year-old in the next 10 years right? especially with all the chemicals and uh, all the stuff that's out there um if you take care of yourself you're going to you're going to look and stay young so yeah. what about you uh, yeah. it, it's funny I, I just thought of this analogy because yeah. you're just saying this you remember when bitcoin blew up mm -hmm. remember when it first started and people were like what is this that's kind of like what this mm. is turning into. Mm. Uh, fitness is about to explode in so many different directions. And um, I think the deeper you dive into understanding uh, not just the body, how it runs, but how it runs with frequency, yep. I think that's going to be the key. Yep. It's going to be the key going into this. So that's why I'm kind of really excited. And, and for the event, I'm just excited to be able to connect, serve with everybody, and just help people as much as I can. Um, I'm open book when they're giving knowledge so i'm here to help amazing love it you yeah. guys heard it so uh this is going to be the next bitcoin craze apparently <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, craze uh, so. <laughs> so you better invest your money into the <laughs> fitness industry uh all jokes aside you know i uh, appreciate you guys excited to have you guys um uh, be part of this experience and i know that everybody's gonna get extreme value out of it um where can guys find you connect with you plug away yeah i'm, I'm i actually need to do a better job of social media but i'm just that i am jd montoya uh, on, on ig um so i have uh two accounts i have crb training which is basically like my uh my uh branding but then i also have crb strength and speed which is my personal and my high life profile too as well so those are the two that i use with um instagram awesome you guys heard it here live at the nucleus hub you guys are gonna have a great time at the nucleus nirvana summer sizzle experience you guys gotta check them out they're gonna help you you cannot miss it. It's, you're going to walk out of there feeling brand new. You're going to want to come back. And trust me, I know you guys will be working together. So uh, with that being said, can't wait to catch you there July 20th. It's going to be an all-day event, 6.30 in the morning till 6.30 p.m. at night, starting with a run and then running it all the way through till the end with some networking, food, 
um, and, and just having a good time. We're also going to be creating content all day. So step into our studios, create content, pull a coach, maybe pull JD, pull Chad in here. You guys can talk after a workshop, after a session, and uh, kind of, you know, share the experience that you had with working with them. So please, we want to see content creation. We want to see people's feedback, and we can't wait to have you there.